Welcome to another edition of Kazar Spotlight of the Month. I'm your host, Kazar Coleman. And this particular segment, we're here today with a very unique um, show for you. We are in the process of uh, prepping for the recording or the um, filming of uh, both um, a television show as well as a movie. So I wanted to give you a unique opportunity to see the casting, you know, with the actors and what's all involved behind the scene. So this is your behind the scene look. And we're gonna start it off with the actors individually as they audition a monologue piece, all right, individually. Then we're gonna take a little commercial break. We're gonna come back and do scene, scene partners to actually show some of what's, what's to expect in the movie. So starting off with uh, Ma'am, Ma'am, who are you? Tell us who you are. My name is Olivia Ku, O L I B I A, last name K E U. I live in Waldorf, Maryland, and I will be presenting a monologue for you. All right, um, and sing. All right. There's no bathroom here for me. Like, there is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this entire building or any building outside of the west campus which is half a mile down the road did you know that did you know that i have to walk to timbuktu just to relieve myself and i can't use one of the handy bikes either picture that mr harrison my uniform skirt below my knees my heels and a simple string of pearls wait wait well, I don't, I don't own any poor pearls because God knows that you don't pay colored people enough to afford that. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off of coffee from a pot that none of y'all wanna touch. So excuse me if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. And if you can go have a seat, we appreciate that. Um, next person, come on up. Welcome to the show, sir. And uh, your name is? Spell that for us, sir. Uh, it's A J, and the last name is uh, E V A N S. Pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> what are you doing for us today? Uh, I'm just going to be doing a monologue. Um, it's actually from the play uh, "The Lady in the Twenty First, One Hundred and Twenty First Street." All right, and sing. God, Father, <laughs> I'm afraid of everything. Is that what you want to hear? Huh? I I'm afraid that, that I'll never be the person I thought I'd be. Back when I thought I had all the time in the world to, to, to be something else. I'm afraid to go down the street just to pay old St. Rose respect. You know why? Because my darn ex-wife is going to be there. She's probably there right now. At the wake. She don't like me. I don't like me. <laughs> and, and you know what I'm afraid the most? That no matter where I go, no matter who I'm with, the least person I'm going to like is going to be me. OK? Douche, you happy now? Yeah. And sing. Awesome. Thanks, sir. When we come back, we're going to have our third auditioner. All right, now we've heard the individual. Um, next up, this is going to be a young lady. Um, Ma'am, what is your name? My name is Kathy Muhammad. That's K-A-T-H-I-M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D. Kathy, what are you doing for us today? I'm going to do a dramatic monologue from a play, When Boys Exhale. When Boys Exhale. All right, then boys, listen up. Sing. I don't regret my decision, but my children are grown. 
They're finally out from under me, and I'm out from under my husband's ex, my ex-husband's thumb. I'm calculating what my life will be like outside of my children. They don't need me. They have families of their own. While I can't even afford to pay the mortgage on this house anymore. Why did it get so bad? It's shameful. My mama could make miracles happen to get things paid. She was a hard woman. Talk back to her, smack. Roll your eyes, smack. Get pregnant in her house? You might as well get out because you are not going to embarrass her. But as mean as that old lady was, she could make a way out of no way. She was a real mother. I felt I never graduated to be the woman. Awesome. They don't know this, but this is a test. We're going to see whether or not they can do the same. They've never worked together. They've never met one another. But now they got to be able to do, pull this off and actually convince me and make it believable to me. So. Um, uh, while you're standing there, tell us the character that you're going to go for, say your name again real quick, and um, then just go right into it. Yes, and I'll call cut once I've gotten as much as I want. Okay. All right. Uh, my name's A.J. Evans, and I'm going to be portraying Pastor Stevens. My name is Kathy Muhammad, and I'm going to be blood. <laughs> my name is Olivia Koo. I'll be reading for the role of Robin. And sing. Lisa. What are you looking at? That light, it's been moving in weird patterns the past few minutes. It's probably just an aircraft or military exercise. Nothing to worry about. Where did it go? It's gone now. Let's get back to business. What have I become? Yeah, yeah, just, just, just put it on my desk. Pastor, are you okay? I I'm fine, all right? Just, I'm just a little tired. It's two in the afternoon and you're drunk. I, I know, that's, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Look, you're going through a tough time, but you don't need to do this alone. Talk to me, talk to the Lord. I, I don't even know if he's listening anymore. He's always listening. Listen, Pastor, you just need to be willing to listen back. Yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. It's time for me to confront my demons and, and uh, I'll turn my life around. Look, I'll be here to help you every step of the way. What are you doing out here so late? Just coming in for a late night prayer, Pastor. And cut. <laughs> That's cool. All right, now we're going to flip it. Um, stay where you are. I, I gotta just keep telling her that because she, 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 she got buzzed, she ready to move. <laughs> All right, so that was good. Um, now we're going to switch it over to uh, Third Eye. So Third Eye is a, um, is a docu-series, mini television series, and it's basically, um, it's a camera crew that's, filming, that's being filmed by another camera crew, but they are taking various um, uh, excursions to um, check out things like the spooky um, uh, crybaby bridge and some of the um, the ghost houses. So, what uh, roles are you going to audition for? Uh, you can, and in fact, you, you can pick you can pick it up because oh no oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so. A little bit of cut for a second. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. I need to pull this up on the screen. And when we come back, they're going to be ready. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to talk about this, tele this mini television series called Third Eye. Just picture third eye. We're gonna take these folks into some woods, into some of the creepiest woods, and then we're gonna also take them into the insane asylum. So <laughs> they're gonna tell you which roles that they're gonna audition for, and we're gonna see if they got up, if they up to snuff, if they up to part for it. So go ahead and uh, introduce your character, and then we're gonna go right into it. All right, my name's AJ, and I'm going to be playing as David. And and my character, my name is Kathy Muhammad, and my character is Jen. My name is Olivia. I will be reading for the role of Sarah. Sing. All right, guys, let's make some movie magic. 
All right, we're going to rock this shoe and make everyone scream. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's scare the hell out of everyone. David, are you sure about the location? Uh, it looks old and run down. I'm not sure it's safe. Oh, come on, Jen. Dude, it's a horror film. We, we, got, we need a creepy location to make it, all right? Don't worry. All right, we have security to keep us safe. Mm. I shouldn't have agreed to do this movie. Hey, uh, um, can we take a quick break? I just, I just need to catch my breath. <laughs> sure, but we have to finish the, but we have a tight schedule, all right, Sarah? So we just need to finish the shoot on time. I feel safe here. I need a moment to calm myself down. Okay. Guys, guys, did you see that? See what, Sarah? Why didn't anyone else see it? Am I going crazy? All right. The director gets out of the van and greets a few uh, crew members who are already there. Hi. Hi, guys. Any problems getting in here? Mm, nothing major. Just a few bumps along the way. Okay. We're going to have to go easy on this one. Sarah, uh, looks like we're going to have to be uh, extra careful with your equipment. Insane. All right. So, so that's pretty much the the rules that they are auditioning for. Now, while you're up here, um, this is an opportunity for you to ask questions about the character for both films, um, the location, you know, the area, the location, that kind of thing. Just so the audience can see kind of like all that's involved in its casting process. Mm -hmm. So if you don't ask the question, I can't answer the question. Uh, you don't ask the, ask the question, I can't answer it. So let's go. Any questions, Adrian? <laughs> you're right up there. Um, in terms of uh, uh, the pastor, um, yep. I know he's uh, very conflicted and stuff. Um, uh, was f throughout the the scene, if, if I'm allowed to ask, um, is he is he kind of like one of those like like anti heroes uh, type people, or is it more so like he's just like just kind of like a just a crooked person in general? All right. So the pastor, he's not really he's not crooked. He's confused. Okay. Right. He's confused. He is um, like. Um, most folks, he have a lot of pressures. He is the leader of the of the church, and the community is is very dependent on him. Uh, the problem is he has some hidden addictions. He has some things that he's trying to get over, but he don't really want to reveal it to the congregation. Um, so that's what's going on with him. He's trying to be the man of God that he's supposed to be, but he got some issues. So what's the overall? Um thing that you want the audience to take away from with Last Knock? Well, the overall takeaway mm -hmm. <laughs> is it might be the Last Knock. Um, you're given opportunities as believers mm -hmm. um, to make mistakes, but to, to get it right um, through various methods, people prompting the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the Lord tries to get you to turn it around. Um, you never know when that last day, you never know when your next day is. So the overall takeaway is to be ready and to understand that it's never too late to make a change. Yeah, I have a question about the third eye. You mentioned that we would probably go to some areas that are haunted. Mm -hmm. So my question is, for example, if we go to an insane asylum, an abandoned insane asylum, or an abandoned bridge where maybe a murder happened, have you heard or know of ghosts or spirits that have haunted that area? <laughs> All of them. Okay. All of them. In fact, um, one of the haunted mansions in Upper Marlboro is known for um, activities after okay. 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there at 2 o'clock in the morning to um, Check, check out some of those things. Oh, so you, you, you want to you poke the bear now. Yeah, we, 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 yeah we're going to check it out. Or there's like um, in Bowie, uh, in Davidsonville, there's a bridge um, called uh, Crybaby Bridge, mm -hmm. right? It's a mother that actually threw her baby over the bridge, you know, um, and killed them. Um, folks have been around there and they have heard activity screaming, that kind of thing, after one o'clock. So, so with Third Eye, is it that, I mean, I know we have a script, I know, I know there's a set story, but are you hoping for something, I don't wanna say hoping, are you open for something to happen to get on film to get these genuine responses from the actors? Um, 
I'll be filming you. <laughs> so the third eye is a film group investigating right, right. various plots and they're being filmed as well. Mm -hmm. So if something does happen, we will get it. Um, and I want you, as you're acting, <laughs> it's kind of like a documentary right. too. Mm -hmm. So if something grabs you, you need to let us know. <laughs> right, right. We'll let, right. let us know because th things will happen. Now, will that mean I'll put you in absolutely da absolute danger? Nope. Right. If, I, if I know that the, the location is going to fall apart, I'm not going to put you out there where you're going to fall through a floor. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to deal with that. <laughs> um, but in every place that we go to, um, we will have a permit. So it won't be like we're, we're, we're going in there and all of a sudden we're going to get a restaurant or anything like that. So. Right. And my question is, when will filming begin? All right, these? so right. Um, for, for last knock, mm -hmm. filming is going to start in December. Okay. Uh, September we'll start filming um, various episodes for um, last knock, or for third knock, excuse me. Yeah, it, it is. Well, well, actually, it's more inside. Oh, the right. wood, we, we started with the woods, the haunted woods. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so, and, and yeah, I do I do my homework, so I'll find some creepy places. Mm -hmm. I do that. I'll find out, I'll check it out myself first, just like I did with the bunny bridge, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put it on Facebook or somewhere so I can have some witnesses in case something does to <laughs> jump off. Mm -hmm. But no, so. That's pretty much. Just don't try to scare me on set. But I will I do am. my best. <laughs> I'll throw my voice. Yeah. Um, yeah. We may have actors doing things like messing around in the woods to jump up. We'll do the campsites and that kind of thing. Wow. Um, and we'll watch out for snakes and things. So, <laughs> so you know, when we do that, um, you have to be equipped and ready for it, um, just in case. What do you? What are your plans? I mean, I have, a, I have a ton of questions that I ask off camera. Um, the release plans? I know that's yeah, the, always the question. You know always Everybody the want question. to know what's going to happen to it? Yeah, what's your, well, not necessarily what's going to happen to it on my end, but what's the goal? What's the goal? Yeah. Well, I'm a filmmaker, so mm -hmm. my goal is also really? is always to, to share the content, mm -hmm. to put it out there, mm -hmm. but it's also to give experiences, right? Mm -hmm. Give experiences to folks. Um, that's, that's what I do. Yes. All right. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> they don't have a clue what's in store for them. I have a clue. But that's going to do it for this edition of Kazar Spotlight of the Month. So, thanks again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, if it absolutely gets too creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. We will make some proclamations in the beginning of every shoot acknowledging that none of those spirits came to attach themselves to us. Yeah. Some things you gotta say. Yes, you um, gotta say that. Uh, they so, did follow yeah. you home. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, they never left home. We got a... Ghost town. Real ghosts. Who was there? I'm gonna get them all. Practice <laughs> <laughs>